today's video we are continuing to look at the balance of payments and in particular today we're looking at the terms of trade so you can see from the syllabus right there that we are under trends in the size and composition of Australia's balance of payments and the terms of trade is part of that syllabus point okay the terms of trade is a concept that compares the prices a country receives for its exports with the prices it pays for its imports if the terms of trade improves, that means that export prices for a country are rising faster than import prices. But if the terms of trade deteriorates, import prices are rising faster than export prices. This is how the concept operates. The formula for the terms of trade looks at the export price index divided by the import price index times 100. So basically, it's the ratio of export prices to import prices for a country. Let's check it out. Here we go. We've got three years. Year one here is the base year. We don't need to do anything with that year. We can see years two and years three. We need to work out what is the terms of trade. Year two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is export price index 115 over import price index 105 times 100 gives me 109.52. So I can say, okay, between year one and year two, the terms of trade has improved. For year three, I've got 120 divided by 130 times 100 is 92.3. Mm, okay, so I can see between two and three, the terms of trade has deteriorated. So as I've said, between year one and year two, the terms of trade has improved. It has got bigger. But between year two and year three, the terms of trade has worsened or deteriorated. Please pay careful note to the language we use. So the terms of trade, it tells us how many imports a country can buy based on the price of its exports. This is because exports earn a country revenue and then it uses that revenue to buy imports. The terms of trade doesn't take into account how many imports or exports are sold or bought. It's just about their relative prices, not volumes, just prices. So let's look at the terms of trade and how it affects the balance of payments. It's especially relevant for the current account. Firstly, if the terms of trade increases or improves, export prices are rising faster than import prices. This means that a country can buy a greater volume of imports with the same level of exports. So what impact will this have on the current account? Well, it could boost the value of exports relative to the value of imports. This is because export prices are rising faster than import prices. Then it could improve BOGS because BOGS is exports minus imports, basically. So if export prices are rising faster, well, BOGS will improve. If BOGS is improving, then it could improve the whole balance on the current account. Let's flip it around. If the terms of trade deteriorates or worsens, then what? Import prices are rising faster than export prices. What does this mean? Well, this means that a country can buy fewer imports with the same amount of exports because import prices are rising faster than export prices. What impact will this have on the current account? Well, imports are more expensive, exports uh, are commanding a lower price, so therefore imports relative to exports, okay, we're spending more on imports than we're getting on exports, so BOGS could worsen, and that in turn could worsen the balance on the current account. If you look at the terms of trade, this graph is of the terms of trade, you can see that the terms of trade tends to peak or get quite high during resources booms, mining boom, when Australia's exports are in high demand. You can see during the financial crisis that the terms of trade fell as global growth slowed and fewer people wanted Australia's exports, which pushed their price down. You can also see that between 2012 to about 2016, that the terms of trade kind of steadily fell 
due to some uncertainty in the global economy. So when the global economy is going well, people want Australia's exports, okay, the terms of trade will rise. When the global economy is slowing or our trading partners are slowing, then there will be less demand for Australia's exports. So export prices will rise slower, perhaps relative to imports, and the terms of trade could fall. So this is the concept of the terms of trade.